Welcome back everybody, Lakade here. And today we have an update. It is time to get rid of this ugly starter platform that we had done. It's time for me to start thinking aesthetically about these builds. I'm gonna make this episode all about making some progress here for you guys. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'll be back with you in just a minute when I've made some progress. Ta-da! And through the magic of YouTube and many hours, I've managed to clean this up, but I decided to, the space elevator really needed to move from there and it needed to have a home that looked good. So what I've done here is I've created a little platform, rounded out the edges, kind of given it a nice little design. It goes into the cliff, but it does not block off the waterfall. I think it's a nice eyepiece. It just, to me, it stands out. It looks nice, nice glass floors. So I think this is the kind of theme we're going to go for this area, but we've got more work to do. Let me know what you guys think of this design here in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what I can do to improve it. Overall, I think it turned out all right. And we're going to move on to the next project because we've got some more automating to do, but we need a new hub to work out of. So let's get building on that. Isn't this just a gorgeous site? I love this game and how clean looking it is in the, uh, the environment, how, how it blends together really nice with the biomes. But I have been busy, like I said in the last clip. And let's take a look. Wow. So I have been super busy. I have created the hub. This is where we're going to be producing a whole bunch of items that I need to get automated. Right now, we have a huge list. Crystal oscillators, motors, versatile frameworks, smart plating, etc. over here on the right that you can see. Those all need to be automated. I'm going to put them up here on the screen as to what they entail. And we need a place to do that because over at the steel factory, we're producing items over here at the metal factory, we're producing items. We've got the rubber and plastic on the other side of this mountain that we need to take care of. The one thing that I had to, once I tore up in this area here was our copper production, but I needed to step that up because all of those items require a lot of copper. So I went on the hunt for copper. And last night during the live stream, if you guys weren't able to tune in, you can go back, watch the video, the VOD here on the channel. Um, but we're going to be live streaming again tonight, which is the Friday. March 24th and probably Saturday as well. What I've done is I've gathered up seven copper nodes over here in this area. We're going to bring it into this platform and we're going to mass produce 1,080 raw copper per minute. And that's going to give us 300 wire, 310 cables and 300 copper sheets per minute out of this little factory. Yes, it's just a platform, blah, blah, blah. I know, I'll clean it up. But that will then feed into the main hub and that'll take care of our copper needs. So if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I'd love to see you guys come by in some of the live streams. We're gonna be doing all of our live streams here on YouTube. And if you wanna catch more videos just like this, feel free to hit the like and comment down below what you, uh, what you think I could do to make the hub look a little better. I've also cleaned up the lines. I've made kind of a basic structure that we can uh, route items through. But I think I'm going to change the color scheme, etc., etc., because I really like the way the red and the black come through here. And this is, this kind of came from chat last night in the in the live stream. But overall, I think this place is going to be awesome. We're going to build vertically through this one. And uh, it should it should turn out really nice. Hopefully, that's the plan. So I'm gonna get to finishing the copper plant. Uh, we just need to route all the raw resources to it, and then I'll be back when we go to turn it on. Okay, guys, welcome back to the copper factory, which we have just completed. I've got the raw lines ran up here, and the way it's divided, I've got three three hundred and sixty per minute lines. I didn't update that one. 
But what I've got done is I need two 480 lines. So there's a 360 coming in here. I've merged another 360 with a smart splitter, which feeds off the rest into this one. And then we've merged another 360, which gives us the 480. And then the last 120 is coming off with a Mark II belt. And that's feeding up for the last few over here on the edge. Comes and makes the long journey down here. So that uh, feeds these last four. So let's turn this bad boy on and see if it works. <laughs> that's the next question. So we'll turn it on here quickly and we'll see what kind of consumption we have. Our consumption is 3,700 right now. And we jump to 39, so not bad at all. Okay, so we've got power going on. Everything is feeding in. 480 per minute on each line here and then this one is 120 so these will back stuff we have our first bits of copper coming out it's actually feeding very quickly and that is feeding into all of our constructors here we have our first look at that look at that our first wire our first cables and our very first copper sheets and this, like I said, is producing 300 per minute once it's all saturated, the lines are saturated, which is pretty awesome, pretty fast actually. So this will definitely provide what we need for the hub over here and everything that we're gonna craft later on. So thank you very much guys for tuning in. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button as well i'd love to see you guys come in for some of the live streams until next time guys peace